Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing and set up the D-Link DWA140 and what this is, it's a wireless card for some computer that don't have a wireless built in just keep in mind this card is 1.4 gigahertz so it's only have one band not 5 gigahertz just keep that in mind and inside you get the wireless card itself and this is very important this is an install disk to install the driver because if you're gonna buy the card which means that you don't have any internet and the next thing you get is a warranty and safety information and next you get to a manual for how to install the driver into your computer I don't think this is much useful because it's quite easy to do like anyway and here you get the wireless card extender and this is actually quite interesting because you can actually plug this at, at the back of your computer and put the wireless card at the top so it's gonna look pretty cool actually and you actually get a pretty long cables around one meter and now you get the wireless card itself and they say that you have to install the driver first then plug in the wireless card So yeah, here's is the wireless card. And there are this re refresh button. So there you get the USB 2.0. And yeah, this is mostly how it's gonna look if you put it on top of your computer. Later on, I'm going to plug this thing into my old computer which doesn't have any built-in wireless. Hey guys, I'm back. So here, I'm going to install the driver first. As you can see, I, I didn't plug the wireless card first. And what they say is to set it up, you gotta put this thing into the computer. As you can see, I, I'm not plugging it in right now. And now I'm just going to insert the disk. And guys, this, this will take a moment, but I'm going to fast forward because this computer is a bit old. So yeah, this is the actual driver that you're going to need to install.
So now they say that you have to uh, plug plug in the wireless card. So guys, now it is plugged in at the back already. So as you can see, the you see the four bars, the internet is working. As you can see, it is f fully working, but the one the Wi-Fi that I'm using right now is not very strong, and this is by far the maximum that I will go. So guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful, and I actually make a video about changing that computer hard drive, so make sure you go check it out.